hello students in this video we will discuss about the next part of the meiosis meiosis in previous video we have discussed about the meiosis and its phases so once again we will go through that in brief that is meiosis includes meiosis 1 and next one is meiosis 2 right so this meiosis 1 has again phases so phase so phase 1 and metaphase 1 Enough phase one or first we can refer and next telophase first, right? So for phase first, metaphase first, enough phase first, telophase first are the meio the phases of meiosis first. So because two times uh, cell division is takes place here, that's what in the meiosis, not like uh, mitosis, right? So this is already we call it as A reductional, reductional division, and this is equational division. Second one is equational division. The same steps will come here. In this also, we have discussed uh, uh, early. Uh, in before we have discussed. Again, we will see that later. The next video. Okay. So here, the prophase first is having the sub phases like. Uh, I will take here uh, first one that there is a lep uh, leptotene. So we can take uh, uh, the phases of uh, prophase first. First one is leptotene. Yes, leptotene. Next zygotene. Zygotene. The third phase is. the diplotin and diapen is yes, pacitin third one is pacitin pacitin or you can refer it as pacitin sometimes you may pronounce it as pacitin or pacitin right you can spell it properly that is pacitin next diplotin diplotin The fifth phase is these are the sub phases. Fifth one is diakinesis. Diakinesis. These are the phases. One, two, three, four, five. Five sub phases we observed in the phase first of meiosis, first of meiosis, right? So this is the the meiosis which is takes place in the meiocytes. already we have discussed so that is meiocytes right so here now in this video clearly we discuss what are the changes which are takes place uh, during the phase first already i have mentioned here five sub phases first one leptotin we will go through this one so in the phase first so it's a first mito meiotic division we can say first meiotic division uh it's after just after the interphase right so uh, the interphase just after interphase when meiosis enters now that is the prophase first will be take place that is the prophase first after that in that leptotene is so in this way so first i'll choose here the step prophase prophase first is the first uh, step of the meiosis we can say meiosis first so usually longer and more complex it is it's typically comparatively longer and more complex right so these you should remember and uh, uh, when you compare to this uh, mitosis it is more complex because in uh, a mitosis there is no these sub uh, Uh, phases we what we mentioned here leptotin zygotin pacitin diplotin and diakinesis not mentioned right so here 
the trophies first is the longer and more complex because of these are the steps and in every step there is a changes which we observe okay that details we are going to discuss now right and uh, the there is a chromosomal behavior uh, what we observe so that will be mentioned in your very uh, sub phases here so i'll take first one is the that is the leptotin right leptotin so this leptotin is the first phase you can mention here sub phase of prophase first so now in the leptotin the diagram when you observe you consider this is the nucleus the nucleus first cell drop and uh, so we can take the uh, this is complete cell you can consider right this is what the cell right so this uh, in the nucleus in the nucleus so the chromosomes uh, uh, are single stranded what we observed here the chromosomes now they are long and uh, single stranded right this is what the long weighted chromosomes and they starts uh, uh, what you called uh, the um, condensation or we can say that compaction compaction or condensation uh, which is continuous because uh, it was when it was in the interface uh, the chromosomes was thread like right chromosomes are thread like yes they are appears as chromosomes a match in material uh, so that appears to be chromosome but they are see we, we are showing that single strand right the arms of the chromosomes are appears like a single right actually chromosomes are double uh, we mm -hmm. may observe right so next in zygotin so this what uh, i'll i'll mention here it is first uh, because of first diagram all the labelings you can write so here you can also mention the uh, the yes, this is what the the diagram which shows that the esters so i'll take uh, first here this one is a as usual cell membrane cell membrane and this is the uh, ester ester and as usual cytoplasm this is the, this is this is cytoplasm and these are the chromosomes only i have chosen here two chromosomes two chromosomes i have mentioned here and i have drawn and as well this is the yes nuclear nuclear membrane so in uh, last stages it starts to disappear the uh, late uh, prophase we can say so the diplotin and diakinesis so it starts uh, what do you call the the vanishing we can say or uh, it uh, disappears right so the leptotin is the first phase of prophase first right leptotin here the we can mention uh, two points here that is the chromosomes are single stranded chromosomes are single stranded we can mention and they starts condensation continue the condensation chromosomes continue continues the condensation right the condensation right so this is what the the answer next the stage is zygote you can consider here so what the zygote so here i'll take the zygote right 
So in zygotin, the what are the changes? Just you go through the diagram. The same diagram. So this also you can show a little more longer like this, right? They may be long, okay, more longer. And uh, then you can show the same. This I'll consider nucleus. And here this is what the sum of the as usual well cell and remaining parts of the cell. And here in this step, so you can show the ester and it starts the dividing and uh, moving towards the opposite poles, right? So which has me, okay? Ester is nothing but centriole. That is what the, these are the structures which are produced by centriole. Centriole is the cell organelles which are starts dividing and producing the spindle fibers during the cell division, what we call, right? This is what spindle fiber may produce, right? Here you can observe the nuclear membrane as well here, and uh, in zygotin, very important thing is that the synapse is formed. What you call synapse? Very important this thing. You can mention the point here in zygotin synapse. What you call? Synapsis. We must refer it as synapsis. It's a process of the association of homologous chromosomes. Are are in other words, the homologous chromosomes when they come and pair, right? The homologous chromosomes. Just I'll show here. This is somewhat condensed, right? Chromosomes. And here, it is what the chromosome has become like this. But these are the considered as the homologous chromosomes. I will show it more, little more dark to identify. These are two different homologous. Structurally, they are similar, right? Structurally, they are similar in shape. So such chromosomes are said to be homologous chromosomes. These homologous chromosomes, they are referred as. Homologous chromosomes. These homologous chromosomes, when they came near and they appear to be a pair, so that proce that process is called synapsis. That's what pairing of homologous chromosomes is known as synapsis. This is the process of pairing of homologous chromosomes is known as synapsis. Right. And the next, the synapses. If many chromosomes are there, they also become pair and uh, uh, forms the what you call uh, the formation of synaptonemal complex. What you call synaptonemal complex. Synaptonemal complex is formed here. Uh, all that homologous chromosomes which are present in the nucleus, right? That complex is formed by pair of synap uh, synapsed homologous chromosomes is called bivalent or tetrad. So this we call it as a bivalent. Okay, so we refer it as a bivalent uh, or tetrad. Right? So there appears to be uh, the in the in the next stage we can observe that clearly. So that is the. Uh, Pachytin stage. C. We can go through the C. Uh, Pachytin. Yes, here once again you observe zygotin. This is what the uh, synapses is very important here. Synapses pairing of homologous chromosomes. Pairing of homologous chromosomes is known as synapses. Right? Process of pairing of homologous chromosomes. These are Similar chromosomes are said to be homologous chromosomes, and such many chromosomes which are formed now. This is what the complex is formed. That is synaptonemal complex. So what we refer synaptonemal complex, right? So that complex formed by uh, pair of uh, synapsed homologous chromosomes is called bivalent. This is what we call a uh, bivalent. Bivalent, right? 
so that uh, paired uh, chromosomes are referred as bivalent pair we one we also call it as a tetrad tetrad because they are appears in split form uh, when you observe this one clearly tetrad means they are appears like this right this is what the tetrad this is what bivalent tetrad we can say right now the patching stage what are the changes we observed in the patching this is what patching is the third phase of this one and bivalent chromosomes are become uh, clear as tetrads they are appears to be like this in this stage right because they start split their arms right so so you can observe here this is what i'll show it as the nucleus here again this is of the cell right so here the crossing over is take place so crossing over it's very important process here crossing over what what else called crossing over means we will see this later later and uh, the diagram in that uh, what we observed the bivalent or tetrad we observed very clearly so i'll choose here this one the centromere of the chromosome and this is what the tetrad form of chromosome right so let me more can right so crossing over means here not crossing over the chromosomes are so here right so it's what crossing over is takes this like this so they are appears like this so you can observe so crossing over means these two arms of uh, non sister chromatids we can say they are appears uh, this is what the tetrad uh, because four chromosomes so what i said here this is what the tetrad this observed the they are appears in the zygotic stage bivalent but when we observed in the patching that is clearly observed that tetrad right so even the the that uh, they are also move towards the two poles here that means the uh, esters are moved towards complete towards poles and here the chromo this uh, nuclear membrane is also starts disappearing right so we can observe that discontinuous membrane because uh, that is some discontinuous I'm just i am trying to show this one as a discontinuous membrane right so here in this stage uh, the they came the esters are came to a uh, opposite poles right so the even a little more moving we can show this here right and in patching the crossing over is very important we should mention here this is the crossing over process that uh, crossing over uh, is takes place between non sister chromatids these are the referred as non sister chromatids non sister chromatids right so the non sister chromatids what we observed uh, the crossing over so this is this and this is called non sister chromatids and this and this is this one these two are referred as sister chromatids in between these two chromosomes pro chromatids are there no they are referred as non sister right crossing over is usually takes place between the non sister chromatids and through this process uh, exchange of genetic material is takes place between non sister chromatids uh, and uh, there is a possibility of uh, 
recombination of the genetic material. The crossing over uh, is uh, helps to recombination of the genetic material on the two chromosomes. Some of the exchange of uh, this arms in any point so this takes place that was the, the very important process in the recombination right recombination right recombination of uh, uh, the genetic material between two chromosomes is occurs this is also important the crossing over is a process where due to this crossing over recombination of genetic material is takes place that's what very important step here and remaining diplotin and diapanosis we will discuss in the uh, next uh, video. Thank you students.